Hello, Pisces, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, because we're listening for what? Love, 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 love. I hope you're doing super fun, fabulous. If you're new to my channel, where have you been? I really would like for you to join with us. Hit that like, that share, subscribe, and better yet, if you like tarot, you like to know what's going on, you like to have a good time, you love happy hour, come on over to Instagram on Tuesdays or Wednesdays, 5 36 p.m. Central Standard Time. We do live readings 11 11 22 22 and get your answers, get your questions answered, baby. All right. If you're a returning family member, you already know what's up. Big, big hugs, lots and lots of love, high fives, and some damn dirty shoulder rubs. I hope you're doing super fantabulous. The way these readings are going to go, we're going to go into a general, a single, couples, and all signs. So let's jump into it, guys, all right? October 2nd, new moon, solar eclipse in Libra, and you are feeling yourself, baby. You are empowered, staying in your power, speaking up, speaking your truth. Standing tall, baby. You are feeling it, all right? Now, on the 9th, we have a Jupiter retrograde, 21 degrees in Gemini. On the 11th, Pluto direct, okay? And not just any kind of Pluto direction, but 29 degrees Capricorn, all right? That 29, that anoretic degree, we are getting a lot of Capricorn energy builds up in there. And what's Capricorn about? The business. Get ready, get that popcorn ready. Everything is coming out. The truths are coming out, baby. And we're just gonna sit back and pay attention. If you notice that you have 29 degrees in your chart at any level, this can mean like that you feel very rushed in whatever house that is. And so just, you know, there's a lot of major transformations coming in. So just sit back and relax, all right? 13th, Mercury enters into Scorpio. Mercury, the planet of communication, going into a deep dive of transformation. On the 17th, we have the full moon in Aries. And this is about your dreams, your life, your love. Everything is being fertilized, all right? So plant seeds of great intention. With that day, also, we have Venus entering into Sag. So Sagges are going to look extra del delicious. And October 22nd, call up that sexy Scorpio and let's go have lunch, all right? Drinks, lunch, coffee, I don't know, because they look good with whatever they got on, right? Now... Let's talk about your energies. Your astrological card is that of the third house. You are really big on communication right now. The third house is ruled by Gemini. Pay attention to what you want to talk about. You might even be thinking about doing a certification, moving forward, getting some kind of training, small, tra like local travel, nothing like overseas or anything. But we're, we're trying to move around and get things going, okay? Your animal energy is the sheep. Que chulito, so cute. I love it. Act with fortitude and cooperation. This is a month of collaboration you're really moving forward and making things happen all right hmm hmm Anyways, we have that of happy, 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 baby. You are feeling yourself. There is a lot of beautiful things coming into life. You are feeling like everything is in alignment. You're fe I was just going to say, you look good, you feel good, and you are, you are just on top of the world right now. Now, pay attention to your fifth house ruled by Leo. This is the energy of you really wanting to have, like, standing up, standing out, being proud, taking a chance. But there is something about moving to the next level. Every time I see the card of Hilarion, I always think about going to get training, a certification, education, mediumship. It's just like energy of the higher power, right? Now, Uriel and the Sphinx, when it comes to love, this is a situation that maybe, you know, like the sand blew over the Sphinx and then it came back out and then, you know, like there's a cycle in your life that seems to be revisiting or a situation that keeps revisiting. And there is a reason why it's revisiting for you. It is time to kind of face that energy head on and make major decisions so that you can move to the next level. Again, third house could be very important if I could talk. And I don't know why May 21st is important, but that's really jumping out for you also. So, so far we got the third, the fifth, the eighth, 14, 24, 26, and the number a five, five, five. Meow. Okay, so let's get into this general reading. What do we got for our beautiful Pisces? Hello, beautiful Pisces. Hello, Rochelle. I love me some Rochelle. All right, let's see here. We have that of open up your heart, be ready for love, attract it, okay? Be patient. It's coming, baby. It's coming. And Mercury retrograde. So this is the energy. I want to say what has been resurfacing in your life lately? What keeps popping back up? We'll look deeper into that. And yeah, we need to schedule a date night. Call them up. Let's go on a date. Let's go enjoy ourselves. Let's have a good time. All right. So why are we opening up our heart? What do we got here? We have healthier choices. You're making better choices. You're putting yourself first. 
probably changing your eating habits, all right? Patience. You want real love. You want true love. You want to feel unconditional love. And Mercury retrograde, I pulled it out like this. I have reminiscing. You could be really thinking about the past and you're trying to heal from a relationship that you were very much in, like a toxic one, all right? And date night, we need to go out, we need to make time, we need to have fun again. Why aren't we having fun, my friend? We need to have fun. Life is too short to be sad, all right? So let's see here, what do we have coming in for you guys? What do we need to know when it comes to love? In the past, we have that of feeling very heartbroken, the five of pentacles, kind of feel like we've been left out in the cold, everything's, everybody else is happy, but I'm not, what the hell? That's what it feels like. Mm -hmm. Okay, but we're, we're, we're filling our cup up with the King of Cups. I love the King of Cups. I just, I just think that like that energy of the patience, the, the, the tenderness, the romanticness, um, just beautiful energy with the King of Cups, very loving and kind. Um, but we're, we're, we're like, look, we've healed. So that's a healthy choice. We're not letting just anybody in. Okay, we want the full package with the Ten of Pentacles. And we're going to fight for the right to party, okay? And there's a possible trip towards the end of the month. Overall, we want, we're ready for some fun, baby. Knight of Wands energy. The Knight of Wands energy. So, I like Knight of Wands, right? Because I'm a fire sign. Anyways, this is like impulsive, fun, like let's get her done. Good, fun energy. Just, ha! You know, like, oh, don't even think about it. Just have a great time. This is Unbridled Passions. Um, and you're ready to feel young again. What does the King of Cups want you to know? The sun, go for it. You could also have your eye on a fire sign, especially strong Leo with the Knight of Wands and the sun touching you. Seven of Wands, what's going on here? You're hung up on it. You're just like, should I let them in? Should I not? I don't know. Ten of Pentacles with the devil. So some of y'all are very much tied to the old way of things, the old way of thinking, and the Nine of Wands wants you to know the Eight of Cups. It's time to leave the past behind. Walk away. The Page of Swords with the Knight of Wands. We need to learn some new skills when it comes to passion and love, okay? All right. Let's see what we have for our beautiful singles that are ready to what? Mm -mm, fucking mingle, okay? What we got for the singles? Let's see here. Our beautiful singles. What do we have for singles? Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus, because we're listening for what? For love, we have Gold Digger. Ow. Okay, they want your money. Okay, um, they want to move in with you. For some, you're, you're finding someone who wants to move, or maybe y'all are moving in together. Take the parts that fit. It may not be all for you, all right? And then we're health issues. There's some health issues that really think about, especially around the 21st or the 26th, okay? Overall energy, whatever it was, it's a damn dirty yes, what you were thinking, okay? So let's get clarity. What's going on with this gold digger? What's, what's this vibe? What's going on here? Gold digger, porting your, you, so you might be going out with your friends and you really meet someone and you're like, oh, I really like this person, but they're all about like the finances. How much do you make? What do you do for a living? And you're like, oh, I know, I don't really like that vibe, you know? So you're just going to keep having fun single. What about this moving card? Looking at pictures, missing, maybe you're moving on from someone, you really miss them, the nostalgia, you're ready to make new memories. And your boundaries need to be put into place, especially with the health, okay? Like you need to really stick to a health routine. And when people um, abuse your boundaries and you keep saying, oh, people don't respect my boundaries, respect your own damn dirty boundaries and they'll respect them too, all right? And yes! To the twin flame vibe yes you're gonna find your yin to your yang your your media naranja that person that's gonna love you unconditionally yes you are because pisces why not why think you're not why believe in the worst when you can believe in the best right that's just the way i've been looking at life okay so let's see let's see here what is the vibe coming in from my single pisces i have the page of cups and it is time to get out on the streets and enjoy life again, okay? Put your little blue suede shoes on. Get out there. Have fun. Complete package. Ten of cups. The knight of pentacles. We're going to have to look at that. I'm, I'm not a big fan of this knight of pentacles because I feel like you have, like, these big dreams of, like, family and, like, being with someone. And then there's this energy of, like, 
sprinkle, sprinkle of breadcrumbs, you know? No, Hansel and Gretel, we are not gonna fall for that one, okay? Like, we don't want no crumbs. Okay, this came out as the Four of Swords, so we are healing from a decision. And April 20th could be very important. We're healing from a situation, we're really trying to set ourselves free, we're moving forward, and we're letting it go. Five of Cups, okay, and overall, we, we got a little heartbroken, friend. Three of Swords. <coughs> All right. Not, not a good feeling. Three of Swords is never, it's never exciting, okay? The Three of Swords is never something like, damn it, I hope I pull that Three of Swords and that love read. No one ever says that. However, this is like, this is hurtful, okay? So there is a lot of hurt. It could be because someone was breadcrumbing you. Damn, dirty breadcrumbs. Nobody want no crumbs. I want the whole bread, okay? Especially the bread from... <laughs> Raising Canes. I really like the bread from Raising Canes. It's so good. Anyways, Page of Cups. What do we got here? Page of Cups said, we don't even talk anymore. So, maybe they were a hit it and quit it kind of vibe, okay? Maybe they make you feel like the only time they hit you up is when they want to go eat dinner, when they want money, when they want a little uh-uh-uh, you know? And you're like, no, I don't want that anymore. I want the full thing. I... And you feel like this person leaves you waiting, like, oh, you're just an option, seven of cups. And when they want to come back to play, hey, hey, Pisces, how you doing? It's me. Remember, I'm just going to come in here and get an uh, 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 and be gone, okay? And there's that tower moment. There's that situation that leaves you feeling like, I can't do this anymore. I want something more. I cannot be breadcrumbed. No more breadcrumbing. We're going to go for something new with the Ace of Pentacles. It's going to be fun. It's going to be great. And they are going to be really hurting when they see you off with someone else. Okay? Yes, I do think that this person who's breadcrumbing you, I do think this person who makes you feel like you're not enough is going to be watching you be happy. All right? I don't know. What ofs. But let's go on a trip. Let's do it. We got the chariot. We're ready to go. We're setting ourselves free. We're making things happen. And the five, we are releasing the rutabaga. Okay. We're releasing this devilish energy. We're releasing old patterns, old ways of being. I mean, we are definitely letting go of the tower, the six of pentacles, repeat of the seven of cups. Like, can we make a decision? Do you want this? Do you want this? Like Pisces is like, do you want this? And they're like, I don't know. <laughs> like the fuck? Like, what do you what do you want? And it's even though it's not what you want to hear, <clears throat> you're you're putting those boundaries up, and that's what's gonna lead you to what you really want with the sun. Okay, that's gonna move you in that energy. Possibly, you know, the sun shining on the three of swords is like happiness after the storm, <clears throat> happiness after the tower, happiness after the situation that broke you down. Okay, so let's look at this tower energy real quick. What do we got, Pisces? What do we got here? Wow. Pisces, what's going on? We got the child, the fox. There's a new person that's watching you that's like super into you, okay? But if you keep going back to like what was not working, okay? And you keep trying to make it work, guess what? Not gonna have it. We gotta let the tower happen so that we can have that Ace of Pentacles vibe. We're releasing whatever is tying us to that energy. We're gonna release it and we're gonna set ourselves free because ain't nobody wanna be in this. Ain't, ain't, this is not what you want. But, okay, let, uh, let it come, all right? And always, I am saying, just let it come over here, all right? All over. Have a great time. We don't need this vibe. We don't need these guys over here. No, we don't, okay? So I do think that there's a situation of you having to make a very strong decision on how you want to move forward. If you're being strung along in a situation and you know it's time to move on, then this was this was your sign, my friend. It is time. It is that moment, okay? It's time to put those boundaries. Yes, you're going to get what you want, but if you keep letting this situation resurface over and over, Pisces, you have no one to blame but yourself, okay? I don't care how good they look. I don't care how much they say they've changed. If they have not changed, guess what? They haven't changed. All right, Pisces, what's up with this person that wants to play games? 
Quit playing games with my heart. Stop putting your heart out there for them to play with. How about that? You know, okay? So we got the shadow side. Heal, okay? You made me realize my flaws. We had different values. Look, they wanted your money. They show me the money, okay? And they are hoping, they are hoping that y'all can reconnect and reunite. Just, just be, they like to chase you. And then when they get you, they don't even want you. All right, what do they want to say to you? Let's see. I was selfish and stuck in my ego. I wish you were here with me so I could have your money, right? I should have fought for you facts, okay? And I ran because I wasn't ready for you. But I want to meet back up with you so that I can spend your money. <laughs> What's wrong with this person? No, you cannot spend my money. All right, we're going to leave that. We're going to leave that crazy mess behind. And we're going to look at who is good for you, Pisces. Who is who is the person in Pisces good side? What do they want to bring to a Pisces? All right. What do they want to bring? What do they look like? Let's see here. We have Leo. They have a very round, chubby, youthful, young face. We have someone with strong thighs. This is Gemini energy. Right, Gemini? I think it is. Uh, the rider, athletic, fit, ew, ew, got some legs, their legs, there's something about their legs, oh, got me excited, anyways, Aries energy, larger forehead, possibly gray hair, built, all right, and then we got the anchor, this person's very curvy, what sign is that tied to, hips, tan, colored eyes, Capricorn, all right, we got someone that's very fit and very sexy, <coughs> <coughs> Sorry, my allergies are going a crazy. Okay, let's see here. There's something about the 21st. I see that number a lot coming out for you. The mountains um, and the Uriel and the Sphinx from the 21. Okay. With that heart, what do we have? What is the energy with that? They're very different from you. Very fiery energy. I get very airy, sag kind of vibe. The rider with the crowns. I do feel like that when this person talks to you, they're going to be bringing, like, illumination, okay? They dress well. There's something about the way they dress, okay? I want to say, like, very older, like, very, like, debonair. And then we have, like, the moon with, uh, the new moon with the anchor. So I feel like you're establishing new behaviors with this individual. And this person could have recently just got out of a bad relationship, um, you could even be like one of those, like, oh, we're just going to hook up. And then it turns into like, a y'all been hooking up for a while and y'all going to end up staying hooked up. All right. Let's get some initials. What do we have for you? What do we have for you? T R A T and V. Okay. So maybe they got two T's in there. They got R A R T. They are Tarty and a V. Okay. So maybe their name is Rachel, maybe their name is Ryan, I don't know. Maybe their name is Ari, maybe it's me, friend. And I've been here this whole time, I had no clue. What? I'm just kidding. I'm just kidding, I'm kidding. All right, let's get into our couples. These are people who know they're together. Lucky days for you are going to be the 3rd, the 5th, the 8th, 14th, 24th, 26th, and uh, 555. <coughs> okay. What do we have for our beautiful Pisces? An air sign, Gemini, Libra, Aquarius. Ow, ow, it's a yes. It's a yes. Ow, ow, ow. And we need to communicate. We need to talk about it. We need to be about it. Forgive and work it out. Trust your intuition. I do think that you're going to be feeling like, like um, a lot of energy coming through with this individual. And I think you're going to like... I want to say it just feels right, okay? You just like, it just feels so good. Okay, what does the Gemini want you to know? Or what does the air sign want you to know? They're in love, shot through the heart, all right? They have faith. They know love is coming, struck by love. What is this yes about? Okay, a lot of cards just flew out, so we're going to pick them up. They're just, okay, there we go. Heartbroken. Yes, luck is on your side. You might have been breathing a breakup, but we, we're moving forward, Okay. We are definitely cutting ties. We are going to forgive and work it out. We are progressing. We're getting to where we need to be. And your intuition, that of the dragonfly, okay? This energy says to be lighthearted. Things are coming to the light. Good things are coming to the light, okay? Now, let's get into this read. What is your person's story? What are, what are they thinking? What are they doing? Let's see. 
What is Pisces person's story right now? The lovers. They love you. And then they're just like, oh, that's my Pisces. I love them. But they're in their head about something with a ton of swords. <coughs> I think I'm going to need my inhaler. Ugh. A lot of miscommunication, okay? And they see like you've taken a step back. They're like, what the hell, Pisces? Pisces isn't chasing me anymore. What? Why does Pisces do this to me? How is your person acting right now? What are they acting like? <laughs> the devil. Oh my goodness. This is like one of those like, oh, tragic love stories right here. This is someone, there's a lot of push and pull. There's a lot of karma going on. Um, whenever the lovers and the devil show up right next to each other, I feel like this person has like a runner chaser vibe kind of. They want to move forward. They want things to happen. And temperance is the key. So I feel like it's a little take it easy over here. And, they, and you pulled this, the hangman. That's you, okay? That's the Pisces energy. And you're just kind of like, look, I'm just going to sit back and I'm going to watch. I ain't even going to stress no more. You go stress yourself out. I'm, I'm just, I'm just going to be Pisces. I'm just going to be freaking Pisces over here. The lovers with justice. So I do think that they want to balance the karma. They want things to be right between you guys. Like they want to make things right. I just don't think they know how to, right? Like they just don't know how to make it right. They also portray the relationship almost like I feel like maybe they gaslight you a little bit. You know, like they're like, what's wrong with you? We're perfect. And you're like, are we? I don't think so. They want a new chance with the Ace of Pentacles with you. And there is a lot of passion between you guys. They love you in the bedroom, okay? Pisces, you're a performer. The Ten of Swords with the Queen of Swords. There is a bit of a coldness either from you or from them that's coming through. And they really miss the passion between you guys, okay? The Four of Swords wants you to know... The Ten of Swords. So taking a break because it was just very painful, whatever happened. And trying to release the past with the Six of Cups. And you're trusting your intuition. They're like, how do you, like, I almost feel like Pisces are like, damn it, Pisces. Like, how did you know that? And Pisces is just like, I just knew. I just knew. The devil wants you to know the Queen of Wands. So there is a lot of just like very big passion between the two of you. It's a very sexual energy, right? And then there's the lovers, okay? So I don't know if there's like a lingering energy or someone from the past or whatever on anybody's side, but it is like complicating the relationship, okay? And we're not communicating. That's what comes between us. Like someone is looking towards the future. They're making these choices and these decisions. But y'all don't, y'all are not communicating this. And we need to get back to being playful and fun. Temperance wants you to know you have to make this choice of what you're really ready to release. Um, because there's going to be a completion and the completion could be that there's that 521 again. So there, this could be that energy of like, you have to make a decision and you don't have to make and rush this decision, but you, if this reading is for you, you're going to see the number five, five, five. You're going to see dragonflies randomly. You might even see a bat, like a picture of a bat. Okay. Like the animal. <sighs> Let's see. And there is a lot of hanging on each other's words, okay? Just hanging on the words, and we need to make a decision how we want to move forward with the victory. Like, what are we going to do, and how are we going to do this? So I, I see that there's a lot of passion. There's a lot of karmic energy. There is a lot of this push and pull kind of vibe. And the lover shows up twice. Is there love? Yes. But there's old habits, old ways of being, energies that want to come in and complicate things. Somebody wants a second chance. They want to move forward. They don't want it to be over. But we're not having the kind of conversations that we need to have. Why the fuck are they screaming out there? However, this energy wants you to move forward. Okay? And I'm going to say, if you're dealing with someone who... Um, likes to make you jealous, don't react to them because it drives them crazy when you don't react to them. Like, they don't know what to do, and that's not for everybody. Okay, let's see here. Let's see. Let's see. Let's see. What, 
Where are they at? Where are my cards? Let's see. What does Pisces need to know that they don't see coming this month in love? I see here. We have that of something ending with a scythe. Okay, a breakthrough, something spreading, okay? And then we have the lilies. So, uh, a speed, okay, it's like there's a break, there's something that breaks, and then we get into something with peace. We're cutting something off, we're spreading the peace, look, a crossroads, and then we have a snake. So, overall, there's the fox. Okay, look. This isn't for everybody, all right? So if you're wondering if somebody was going to cut somebody off so that you could move forward in this relationship, I do think somebody is getting cut off. I do think that there will be peace for a while, and then there's going to be a major decision because the snake comes back, all right? And I do think that there is this energy watching, very strong Cancer Scorpio energy coming in, and I feel like we're at a crossroads, and it's like you need to make a decision how we want to move forward, but we need to talk about it. All right. Some of y'all will be deciding to cut the ties. Um, and that could be with an energy of an Aries. Um, uh, not an Aries. Maybe it is an Aries. An air sign. Okay. Very weird. That was a very odd energy. Let's get you some um, guidance. So we have here a man with a heart. Someone's very much in love. There's an offering of love. We have to keep our house very peaceful. You have to know your worth. There's also something about putting money in the home. The, the person who has, like, feelings for you, who sees you in that light, is going to be taking actions towards you. I have to say that you have to be careful who you let in your house this month, especially around the 8th and the 12th. And trust your intuition when it comes to money. We've got a lot of healing to do, okay? A lot of heart healing to do in this relationship. Oh, and I got heartburn out of nowhere. I have no idea why I have heartburn, but okay, whatever. I don't know. <laughs> it's, like, burning really bad. All right, let's get into all signs. Okay, Pisces. I don't know. I'm like a little bit weirded out by your read. I don't know how I feel. It made me sad, friend. All right, let's see here. We have the Three of Cups with the Nine of Wands reversed. We are tired of fighting for something. Like, if it does not bring us joy and happiness, we are just ready to move to the next level. We're not entertaining that anymore. Okay. Hmm. Okay, here we go. We have you as the devil, you sexy stallion, you. And Aries is not feeling it. They're not talking. They're not communicating. And I feel like somebody is acting a very promiscuous, okay? Uh, the 13th could be important. Here we are. We're not in love anymore. We're not feeling it. Taurus is just done. Doesn't feel successful and we could be having financial issues. Uh, the third could be important. Good Lord. You are not feeling yourself. You're feeling very much like there's a lot of jealousy and anger and Gemini is praying about this situation, but there is a lot of betrayal going on. There is someone who feels very betrayed, very hurt by this situation. And I feel like it's you because you are just reversed and not dealing. And Air, uh, Gemini is like, well, maybe we could get married. And at the bottom, we have they sabotage that connection. Okay, so someone could have sabotaged that. Here you are as the Ten of Pentacles reversed. You're not feeling complete. You feel like there's something off. Cancer, cancer is, um, when the Empress is reversed, not really feeling like, maybe we're having family issues going on, and we need to get back to that loving feeling again, okay? The 11th could be important. Here you are feeling very calm, cool, and collective, okay? And Leo is all in love with you. They're like, hey, hey, Pisces, I love you. Trust your intuition. Things are moving in the right direction. The seventh could be very important for you. We have a tower situation. Wee -oo, wee -oo, okay. And Virgo is like, let's go party. And something's got to change, but it doesn't change. Something feels out of balance. The 19th could be important. All right, here you are doing a lot of praying, and Libra feels like it's not working, and someone feels like they're being very much manipulated in this relationship. Um, seduction, there could be a third party, a lot of hooking up, 
You feel like Libras put you in a third party. All right. You are not moving. You are not passing go. And you are upset. All right. And as Scorpio said, I don't give a damn. Okay. <laughs> I'm not giving in. <clears throat> Both of y'all are being stubborn. And there is no communication going on. The 12th could be very important. You are very much in love. And... Sag is praying for the situation, and there is a lot of love between you guys. I almost feel like you guys feel like you have found the one, okay? And Sagittarius is like, I really hope I don't screw this up. Like, <laughs> I really hope I can make this right. You are working on things. Your work is very important for you. Capricorn is tired of fighting, and um, somebody is coming because it's like my way or the highway kind of vibe. The eighth could be important. You are the King of Pentacles reverse. You are not feeling this situation. And Aquarius is like, let's go to the bedroom. Let's have fun. Let's enjoy ourselves. And there's a lot of seduction going on, a lot of temptation, but it's not stable for you. The third could be important. Here you are making peace, making amends with something. And the other Pisces is healing also. And we are coming clean on things. We're putting everything out on the table, as they say. All right. So Pisces and Pisces are getting along just fine. Lucky day is the 14th. So I hope you guys had fun. I hope you come hang out with me on Instagram. Sorry I was coughing. I feel like I'm going to have an asthma attack. However, I love you guys. Take care. Be blessed. And remember, come on over to Instagram and let's be friends. Take care. Bye.